Welcome, everyone. You're listening to Maximum Medicine Radio, The Healing Hour, with me, Dr. Sharon Martin, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This is the hour of healing power. In this live call-in show, The Healing Hour, I'm going to take your calls and help you get started on your way to your maximum potential. So come on, settle in, listen up, and I'll take your questions head on. Together, we'll find practical wisdom and understanding about what ails you. In The Healing Hour, we'll start your day off right insights and practical health knowledge and concepts for how you really live i'll take your issue and help guide you with the blend of scientific medicine and the esoteric including shamanic energy medicine so let's shake off some of that mystery and get started on how to really live together let's get unstuck so come on and join in join up and let me help and let go of what holds you back from being the maximum you the world needs Take down this call-in number, 1-800-930-2819, and let's get started on the healing hour right now. Hey, happy holidays. This is Doc Martin. I'm here with Dr. Pat on the healing hour. Woohoo! This is going to be a good show because it's going to sound wonderful, but we are not people as people we do not do as much as we should. This is about how to really, really give to yourself. And that's not something we do easily. In fact, we often neglect ourselves, but we'll talk about the energetics of why we have to turn that around. Pat, you know, 2020, 2021, they took a lot out of us. And we're about to hit the solstice and we're about to step into 2022. And we need to shift the energetics internally, personally, individually. What do you think? I'm totally right there with you. And one of the things I I want to just comment on before we get rolling, because once we get rolling on this topic, there's no stopping us. I want to just say to everybody, this is a live call in show. When we start talking about this today, the gift that keeps on giving, the gift to yourself, when we're talking about this today, I want you all to think that we're also talking about you and we're talking with you. And one of the most important things was when I first asked Doc Martin, Dr. Sharon Martin here, the host of this fabulous show, The Healing Hour, to build me my language to create a healing bundle a bundle that I wanted to give to Susan, right? A bundle that I wanted to give to people. And when she put those together, and I'm getting ready to ask her for more. And when she put those together, what happened is the energetics of it are the gift that keep giving. The people that that I gifted them to, the people that I'm talking about, talk about this they can feel the heart Mm -hmm. that went into Sharon so today are you ready to move some energy Mm -hmm. are you ready to move the mountain of depletion to the skyline of possibilities Doc Martin I love how you say that so I want to just reflect a little on that. And thank you for that about the bundles. When two thoughts about things like the bundles, when you, when you and anyone as an individual really pulls down the energy of their essence, aided by the energy of the earth downloaded with spirit, that energy field is set on an inanimate object, on a place in nature, on a thought, and it carries powerful vibration. What we have become depleted, I believe, in the last two years, we're undergoing a lot of transformation. Everybody talks about it. Many of the hosts on on TTR talk about it. There are shifts in the galaxy, shifts in the evolution of the earth, shifts in our culture, upheavals all around, and it's so tumultuous, it's hard to keep a grip. And keeping a grip 
drains us of energy. I mean, we're all depleted. So I just want to, I want to tell a little story and aside, but I think the, it's going to be a good example. Please. I was a little bit nervous. My sister and I go to uh, Mexico once a year. We're not the, we're not the Mayan Riviera types. We go in inner country and just enjoy the people. And we didn't get to go last year because of the pandemic. And we were a little bit nervous to go this year. Truthfully, I was a little bit scared. Um, but I went and this, we're going to talk about gifts to yourself. I said, listen, I haven't had a vacation in over two years. I am going to buy myself a first class ticket from Washington, D.C. to Houston. So I got extra leg room. I got United Polaris, like a sky pod thing around me. And when I got there, so first of all, that felt wonderful. But when I got there, I noticed that the, the whole culture of where we were, nobody talks politics. Nobody's in each other's faces. Nobody's wound up. There's no violent energy of any kind. And that was such a relief because I thought, you know, we all struggle to find the goodness, to find our heart space when all we see is the fracturing and the antagonism and the you do this, no, I don't kind of in your face. So back to bring it around, back to a thing like a bundle, when you give of your heart space, you really heal the energy field around you and you bring a calm and you bring a peace. And don't we need that right now? Yeah, it is so important. It is so important. You know, you know me pretty well. Mm -hmm. I, I, Many people don't even know my last name and it's never mattered to me. Some, uh, one of these marketing people <laughs> decided to point that out to me. And I said, well, 2022, that's when we're going to do me. We're going to, you know, because I want to get out and tell the world about what we built and what we grew to. And we're having a conversation. And one of the things I realized is we're not doing anything if it's not in support of all of you and not in support of the audience. I, I don't really care how much of a marketing thingy it is or you know, do this or do that. I, I'm not doing it. If it doesn't support the energy that you just brought today and that you bring, uh, Doc Martin, to the people you work with, and it doesn't support to the amazing audience, and by the way, you all can call it and get a little healing going on today, 1-800-930-2819. If it's not going to support that, and if it's not going to support our crowdfunding, initi crowdfunding initiative to launch AI for the soul, we're not going to do it. And if we're not sure, we're going to send you all an email and we're going to send the listeners a note and we're going to say, hey, vote on this. Do you think this we should do this, this or this? Why is that? It's so easy, like you talked about you were talking about the ego. It's so easy to have the ego run your life, to tell you about the grass your neighbor has that you don't have, to talk about the many different things that you could have done when you were a child that you didn't do, a teenager, to talk about, to, and the ego talks to you. See, we have to get this energy reserves in a place so that people can work with you and you can help them step into the realm of possibilities. That is what's at, that's what's on the table for us now. I think that's just my two cents. <laughs> when two cents is worth a hundred dollars. But how do you feel about that? I mean, you know, you opened it up by talking about this in, in a beautiful way, but if we are not, going to take care of ourselves. You know, I had the option to upgrade a flight or not upgrade a flight. And if I'm going to agonize over $49, what the heck is underneath that for me? Two brand new knees. Oh. Don't you think my mm -hmm. knees deserve a little extra leg room, Benny? <laughs> 
I know sometimes, sometimes, um, not everybody has 50 extra dollars, but if you right. really stop and you're honest with yourself, you've wasted that every day, a little here, a little there. You've probably wasted 50 bucks a week. Easy. So. God, are you, have you been secretly hiding out in my living room? I just need to just ask you, but you know, we're talking about our inner power and what happens when it's strained and what happens when we're doing things externally, you know, aren't we here to get some guidance today, especially from you, Doc Martin, about our energy field and how that energy field can turn into good health or bad health. I'm just going to be blunt because I don't know there are other healths, but I'm not sure what they are. I've either had good health or bad health. Right. But that's what they turn into. And people have experienced that now for two years. They have experienced the crushing pressure that has affected their bodies. Let's take a short break. When we come back, are you all ready? Is this what you may want some help with today? Are you all ready to turn priorities around? Literally turn them around. Maybe you have to turn them upside down there, you know, put a turn them on their head right? Maybe if you're like me, you know, you have to throw them up in the air, see where they learn a couple of pickup sticks. Maybe you got to move them around. Doc Martin is really good at helping you get the pickup stick. The one that's actually not going to touch the other ones. (laughs) Let's take a short break. Don't let the pile crumble. Don't let the pile. Let's take a short break, but go to drsharonmartin.com, drsharonmartin.com. How does she know about this? Maybe one of you call in and ask her how her book is coming. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. All right. Hi, I'm Doc Martin. I'm back with Dr. Pat, The Healing Hour. And we're talking about the importance this holiday season of giving to yourself and the energetics and why the energetics of that is important. You know, Pat, many of us are raised in that puritanical ethic, that Puritan ethic of always do for someone, you know, don't be selfish, give, 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 take care, take care, take care. But I want to explain the energetics of why that is not the best answer. So each of us has an energy field and um, hundreds of years ago, it was shaped as an egg and with this um technological and EMF bombardment that we're under, our energy field is not quite an egg, but it's squished down maybe more like a tangerine. Our energy field, when we interact with anyone, we we exchange energetics with that person. And there are people, and you've all known them, who are energy drains. At first, you know, they think, gosh, I feel so sorry for this person, so you give. But then you realize you keep giving and you keep giving or you're in a group and you have a conversation. And this is the person that never, ever asks you about yourself. You're, they're always talking about them and what they need and their troubles in the world. Well, when we give that much of ourselves, our energy field depletes. Now, some of us are very good at self-regenerating. Um, Carol and Mace described it as batteries. And a good partnership, you could share somebody, you take a little bit of theirs when you need it and vice versa, but basically you have strong, independent batteries. Well, this world that we've been in, that we're going through with its turmoil has really depleted us. And many of us don't have good reserves or know how to replete. And why is that important? And even though it sounds selfish, and we've many of us have been taught that being selfish is not a good thing, you're not kind, you're not holy enough, you're never going to get to heaven or whatever the rule is, you have to have enough inner power to preserve your health. And Pat talked about that. You can be bad health or good health, depending on the power of your energy field. And you can't be a bright light in a situation with a dim battery. 
And nowadays we are entering, or we've been in, and we're going to continue to pursue our human evolution. And we need people's batteries burning bright. Yeah. Isn't that right, Pat? Yeah. And, you know, it's so funny you're using that metaphor because I recently, you know, I'm getting the house ready and I was recently, I caught myself and I thought, oh my gosh, Pat, how hard is it to change out those batteries? I've been watching, as you could tell from my background, I love twinkle lights. I love lights. Uh, and most of them are battery operated, but how many times am I going to walk by a pair of beautiful, a set of beautiful lights that I love and not go in to my room back there, the laundry room and get AAA batteries, which I have two cans full of them. How hard is it? Right? But that's what we're talking about. We can do something that is so simple and so easy to do if we're willing to invest that energy in ourselves to do it because these lights bring me joy. They make me smile when people give right. me gifts, like my, like for, for holidays, they get me more lights <laughs> to Linda's dismay. <laughs> but you know, that's what's so important because if you need the logical reason to wrap your brain around why it's important to take care of yourself first, you've read a lot of books about it. Uh, so psychologists talk about it, but energetically, I don't know if you've heard it energetically, you cannot go and stand in any situation and beam out all of the goodness that you want to put into the earth and make the, create the earth about if you are dim and depleted yeah. and you don't stay empowered by always giving, giving, giving to everything else and not to yourself. So we're entering 2022 and Pat and Jessica have talked how they are really gonna make this the year of you. Well, I'm here to say that energetically that's a very wise approach because we need as each of us to bring our characteristics, our traits, our talents, our genius, and bring it forward. And we need to burn seriously brightly. Yeah. And so we have to rejuvenate and we have to give to ourselves. Yeah. Pat, you know that, that that's yeah. been hard. When we've grown up, you didn't give to yourself. It's always like, well, you better help that person and you better oh. help, you know. Uh, seriously, if you grew up in my household with my stepmom working all the time, my dad never home, then, and you have three girls before my brother's born, uh, then that's when the girls get to iron these big giant shirts my dad has. So to this day, I don't iron. I have a steamer. A uh, little traumatized, by the, a little traumatized by that event. Um, but, you know, the grooming that I had for that was brilliant. The grooming that we didn't get was the grooming where you said it's okay to take a vacation. I had to learn that later. I learned that actually from Linda, Linda's mom and dad, Joan, Joan and Buren, which we call bummer. I learned that from them. But here we are. And the combination of knowing how to give forward to others or give forward to the world and to give to oneself is one of the most powerful combinations of energy because one fuels the other. One fuels the other. The, it's the difference between having a battery that you're going to use and throw away and having a battery like on my weed whacker that you recharge. Mm -hmm. It's depleted, it recharges. But isn't that what you're helping us with? Isn't that the message that we have to do? And I'll tell you this, uh, Doc Martin, maybe you can comment on this. One of my greatest discoveries recently, again, was... When I need help, I need to get help. If I need to look at a coach to help me with something I'm struggling with, I need to invest in that. So I want to just expand one thing you said, because the other thing we have to see is that when we give, it doesn't always have to be a tangible 
visible action. Right. When we are present in our genius, heart open, energy field beaming, we are giving, we are changing the world in those moments. And that's why we've got to be, I hate to say, I'm going to have a hard time saying this, be best or whatever that silly expression was. <laughs> but we have to be able to do it. And, you know, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be compassionate or empathetic. See, I don't know where we've come up with these language limitations because energy does not have a language limitation. Right. Mm -hmm. But because we're humans. You know, we impose language limitations on energy just the way we do on time. Time doesn't know that it's noon. T time doesn't really have a sense of that. And I wonder if as we move forward, and we're going to talk about this, you know, in the show as we, you know, today, I wonder if we can truly give ourselves the gift of body and gift our mind with the same vigor that we give to others, the same open heart that we give to others. And understand that the ego may try to trap you in guilt and shame and not enoughness and you don't deserve it. And I'll tell you, if you're me and I'm from New York, you got to kick that thing to the, you got to just kick that to the curb. I was just thinking that there is a, a real problem that we humans have with feeling that we don't deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it's, that's a big challenge. It's like the challenge of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And part of this too is we're not, I don't think you're saying, and I certainly am not saying that we're not also human doings. We're human beings and we're human doings, right? Until we evolve differently. But are you tired of the doing? Are you tired of the going? Are you tired of whatever caretaking you're doing? Do you find yourself not doing from a place of, I really want to do it, or I should do it? Because if that's you at the moment, please take a minute to hit the pause button and reflect. You may ultimately decide to do it anyway, but if you don't hit a pause button to check in with yourself and understand what's underneath that, those motives, they get in your cells as you talked about, Sharon. And what did you mm -hmm. mention, Carolyn Mace? Carolyn used to call it a tissue issue. We should talk about, we're going to talk about that when we come back, right? Okay, good. <laughs> we're going to take a short break. You're listening to The Healing Hour with Dr. Sharon Martin. If you want to get some clearing done on this show, just like we talked about before, which is cancel, delete. Um, this is what we're able to help you with, but how do you do that and then know energetically what you want to fill it up with? You know, is it as simple as recharging a battery or is it a bit more complicated? I don't know the answer. Doc Martin's going to talk about, go to drsharonmartin.com, drsharonmartin.com. We're going to take a short break, Benny. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. We're back. I'm Doc Martin. I'm here with Dr. Pat. And we're talking about something that most of us don't really allow ourselves, and that is to give to ourselves. We were, Pat and I were talking, oftentimes we don't feel like we deserve it. No, no, we better, we better make sure we take care of something else or better make sure we give to somebody else or do for somebody else. But we're being called in this next phase of our human evolution to really replete, restore, rejuvenate, rebuild our energy fields. And that's going to take us giving restoration to ourselves. So how are we going to do that, Pat? How are we going to restore ourselves? I think the first thing you got to everybody listen into this, you ought to, you all got to get with this idea. This is where you start. Cause if you're not going to start here, 
then everything else we're about to talk about is going to probably, like my mama used to say, goes in one ear and out the other, because it's hard to really hear it. And the first thing you have to do is you have to be willing, willing without a doubt, the strength of your conviction and commitment to invest time and energy and money if you need to in yourself. That has got to be as clear as day in your consciousness. And I'm not talking a million dollars or I'm not talking like five or 20 days out of the month. See, just the idea of being all in like that poker game, like that Texas Hold'em poker game, when you are all in and you watch people play like in the James Bond movies and Mm -hmm. they got the money, he doesn't go like all in, but let me hold back this chip, right? They take the bundle and they push it into the table. And that is the strength of conviction. Now, I'm not, please don't, don't, this is a metaphor. Don't go out gambling. But it's a metaphor, Mm -hmm. right? It's all in. My friend is a lumber person. When he hands me the chainsaw to take down a beetle infested tree. We spend 10 minutes listening to him every time. I don't care what it is, but he will not cut down any of my trees. I had to learn this. Like the beetles are eating these trees, the birch trees, they're just dying. And when he hands me that store, that that, that chain thing, chainsaw, 10 minutes, do not take this chainsaw unless you're going to fully commit Do not, not keep that chainsaw going. When you hit that tree with the chainsaw, I don't care how many bugs come out of that tree, do not, not do that. And when you commit to carving in that tree, like your little slice on both sides, you must commit to that. Do not, not stall the chainsaw. And whatever you do, don't get the chainsaw stuck in the tree. 10 minutes every time. (laughs) Because he knows- Your little safety talk. think about it. He's saying, if you don't commit to this, the kickback that happens from that, you'll get hurt. See, and it's a silly metaphor, but I could just hear him when you were talking about this, Sharon, I could just hear him. What he's saying is whenever we're not willing to fully commit and invest in ourselves, something goes iota, or the job any iota of doubt, any yep. iota of doubt yep. will dismiss all of that great energy. That's the step. That's me. That's the first thing. I want everybody in 2022, it's all about you. You have got to be all in. I don't care if it's going to get your nails done. See, it doesn't, you don't have to cut out, right? What do you think, Sharon? I think you're absolutely right because if you can't shake that, belief, that limiting belief, subconscious, you may not know it consciously, that you don't deserve it, that you're not worth it, then that energy, whatever you do is going to be like you poked a hole in your bucket, you poured water in, but it just went out the hole you poked. You have to have a sturdy bucket and that's your energy field. Those are your boundaries. And that even means being willing to face cutting loose a person who saps you of your energy. We all have those all around us. And you can be kind and you can be compassionate, but you do not have to give them all your water in your bucket. So, but yes, I I totally agree. You can't go into this half-baked because Great term. Great term. Great term. Yeah. It, tell me what you think about perspective. You know, how, how do we gift ourselves? How do we gift our body? How do we gift our mind? How do we do it? Because we, you and I are talking about how do we do this from an outer world? We talk many shows about how do you do it in, a, in getting centered on the inner world. We talk about that a lot. Today's show, though, is about talking about tuning up our priorities tuning into our priorities and turning out to use our priorities to bring something material in our world. 
And the reason I want to ask you about this is because it is a matter of perspective. You know, one of my friends emailed me something astrologically about the, one of the signs and I emailed them back and I said, yeah, that's, yeah, I hear that that's going on, but wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're going to focus on one planet and what it's doing, how about focusing on Mercury for a minute? How about looking at, if you're going to look at the energy, right, of astrology, and how about looking at this Mercury and what Mercury and Capricorn says? Mercury and Capricorn presents itself with some of the most abundant money opportunities that we've heard about in a long time. Plan your career for 2022. I'm not kidding. But you see, the email I got, Sharon, wasn't about Mercury. It was about some other gloom and doom thing. And I got to tell you, choose your perspectives carefully. How do you help people do that? I'm going to just share a story with you. So when I'm traveling uh, to Mexico, when I go, I go with my sister next in line. There's five of us. And she is one incredible manifester. And by that, I mean the ability to use the power of her thought to create her reality. She may not use that language. She probably thinks I'm a little too out there. But I said to her, I said, how do you keep that thought? She won't allow herself to say any negative thought. She won't allow herself to have it. She says she wakes up in the morning and she puts in her mind a blank canvas in front of her and she paints how she wants her day to go in her mind. And she paints a sun because she wants the day to be good. And I, when I was younger, I used to think she didn't, she was not in reality at all. And we had an unbelievably dysfunctional family and she's sitting there talking about all the good times we had when we were kids. I'm thinking, what planet were you on? Because all I could see is I was hypervigilant watching for every time my mom went wacko or my dad got angry. And here she is, I'm thinking she's Lala. But you know, that perspective is valuable and I'm learning it from her. If you choose the way you see it and the way you think about it, and then the way you act on it, your reality is completely different and better. So yes, choose your perspective. Yeah. So back to, back to giving to yourself. It doesn't have to cost money, but it should be something that you're mindful of because you want to, you want your essence and your awareness to receive it because you are in effect telling yourself that you are valuable enough to spend energy on or money or time or something beautiful and that you are valuable enough to warrant repletion. And if we can't feel valuable enough for that, wow. Yeah. You know? Let me, let me give you an example. Linda said to me, are you looking forward to coming? Because most of the days, it's going to be about supporting family. We lost a family member. Mm -hmm. So someone might think, why would you come here when you may be sitting alone in my house while we're going through paperwork? And, I, and, and my answer was, sometimes you just want to be around the person you love most in your life, the best friend you've ever had, you know, the person that you're going to watch burn the pork chops, the house is going to smoke. I said, sometimes it's just that gift. And I said, that's the gift you're giving me by letting me come at this very busy time. This morning, I gave myself the gift of taking my shoes off. I don't know why I did this, Sharon, but look, you're a shaman and this is what you can relate to. I took my shoes off and it is wet here. And I put my bare feet and walked up and down my backyard in gratitude for that. 
my energy shifted. So let me tell you a story about, there's many energetics about that. First of all, the deep connection, skin to earth connection, when you walk on the ground is a very powerful restoration of your energy field because there is um, energy that we can tap into. We are literally co-evolving and co-creating with the earth. Our molecules are components of the earth. We are literally components of the earth for billions of years, as well as from stardust, literally those molecules. So that's a restoration, but it's interesting because, and I'll just take you to the story of, you've seen Native Americans and even uh, the Bushmen in Africa and other indigenous cultures when they yep. dance. Yep. The footfall on the earth is communication to the beings that live in the earth, the elementals. And they are beings that help us co-create. And that footfall is communication and connection. So you are actually doing something very shamanically powerful and may not have totally understood it. I didn't. But it worked. Cost me nothing. Yep. But wiping my feet off. Yep. Shifted everything. beyond everything. See, I don't even know how to talk about it. And you're right. You know, I have worked with my friends, Monica, uh, uh, Indigenous. We have created vision questing for young people, nine months. We've done that work. And yet it took me today to realize the power of this one thing she taught me. And when I go back east, I had asked, can we get up in the morning and walk like little Sadie's got to be walked. But because mm -hmm. I remember the power of, of waking up and singing the morning song and praising the sunrise. Mm -hmm. So we let's want talk that energetics. Yeah. Yes. Do we want that? That? And it's free. Uh, it might cost you time or awareness. Like minutes. But, but when you're aligning yourself, your energy field, connecting to the earth, connecting to the sky, there is a, I see it as a golden cable. There is literally an energetic connection that feeds you. And when it feeds you, it allows you to download, that's, I'll use my lingo, download the voices when spirit gives you intuition. And then you've got your ideas of how to move forward. You've got your answers on what to do about the boss that you really don't like. You've got your answers about should you buy this um, apartment or not? Um, should you move? All of those things, when you are in that connection, the answers come to you and you can hear the voices. So those are gifts and those are important gifts to give to yourself. So what's free? You go to the park, you go outdoors in nature. You're never going to, I'm never going to stop telling you how important nature is. Um, that's all, that's all free. And the energetic potential lie with your belly on the earth and imagine your umbilical cord connecting to the deep iron core of the earth. Oh, you will feel those energetics. Yeah, I know you're, I can see it on your face. Oh. Uh, that was given to me my first vision quest mm -hmm. in 1997. And I never thought I'd use it. And then I got lost in the desert. And the instruction was you need to literally strip down naked and lay down. And what you just described it is so, you can feel, you mm. can feel that umbilical cord wrapping itself around the energy and the m m m uh, molecules in the sand. 
And for me, it saved my life because it called in a turkey vulture. And all I could feel was the shadow of it. And the turkey vulture guided me back to my camp. Now, that's not, that may sound woo-woo for people. That was real for me. So when you started to talk about that, I was brought back to that very moment. I was just, I could feel it again. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do it. What you and I are talking about is taking that step to commit on wavering strength of your conviction to gift yourself that or something else, or even get your nails done. Whatever that is that you're saying to yourself, I don't deserve it. I'd rather give it to dot, dot, dot. Because if we're not going to put on that oxygen mask, we need that. So I just traveled on an international flight. So you just gave me another metaphor. True uh, on the flight. You put on your oxygen mask before you help the person next to you with theirs. I mean, and how many times have we told how many of us have mothers who went overboard caretaking our fathers? Overboard to the point of their exhaustion, their never having their own opinion, their never having their own dreams fulfilled. Um, hopefully younger generations have that better than we did in our generation. But you can't feed anyone else if you yourself are, are broken and depleted. Nope. And what, why does it matter? Why does it matter to, to have a greater sense of ourselves or be more in, empowered and rejuvenated going forward? Because these times, these evolutionary times, these tumultuous times, planets shifting, upheavals, institutions going haywire, nothing that we knew about is working right. Nothing is, it's like you think, you know, it's like the tower card in the tarot, you know, <laughs> it, it's probably all coming down. But out of that comes the ability for each of us in our own little microcosm to shine our inner light brightly. And don't we want a world where we're all on high power? Do we really want to walk into a place where people's lights are running at 10%? I want to walk into a room where the mm -hmm. chandelier lights up yep. with the, with 150, 10,000 watts or 10,000 lumens of the people around me. I want to have a world where each person, when they're contributing beams and changes what's around them. And those of us listening to the shows that are on TTR, you care about this stuff. I know you do. Yeah. So we need to do that. If we can rejuvenate, restore, replace, replete ourselves, we can go out there and change the world. And that's what it's all about, especially nowadays. It. And you know, what you're tapping into too is the beginning part. Uh, I know you and I are going to do more shows, especially on the other show you do on Maximum Medicine Radio. And especially as we move forward, some of the things you're going to share on social media are about helping people now that they've gone past that first step to really put these possibilities in action. Maybe it's the book that you've been wanting to write right? That you don't think you're worth writing, that nobody's going to listen. You Maybe you don't have a radio show or a podcast and you're thinking, why bother? You see, that is the ego. That is that, that, that dark side, that shadow side trying to hold us back. But you see, every idea we conceive, we can achieve. Every idea, every idea. And, you know, Einstein said it better than anybody. I think he was like from like Jupiter. I planet. think he was from another planet. He's another planet. Imagine 2022 is the year about you. It's about you imagining your heart's desire and having them come to you. But isn't that what you're bringing forward, Sharon? Isn't that what you're putting in your book? Isn't, isn't this the invitation to really call people forward, 
even it's a baby step. I can't tell you how many times in my life I've taken two steps forward and three steps back. But I keep stepping forward. Isn't that what you're talking about? Or you stray a little off the path and you go, wait, where am I? And then you get back on. A little, um, uh, just a little, you think, oh my God, don't even go there. That's, we, that should be a whole nother show. <laughs> getting, oh. getting our inner homing pigeon activated. Come back, come back to roost. Yeah. Are you excited about 2022? Tell me your perspective. I know we've got a few minutes left. People don't know how busy you've been and really sharing this message and of course and you know putting pen to paper in the book what excites you most when you're looking ahead so what excites me has to come a little bit with the backstory being a physician in the past 2 years has been absolutely horrible from the fear the anxiety watching even young people go under from the virus watching the fracturing of our society over over the virus um, and all of this stuff. And so it has caught, it has brought to me that external push to, to really go more inward. And so I've spent at least probably a, a year now writing my book um, called Maximum Medicine. And it's about techniques for each of us to begin to heal ourselves. And that's what I'm excited about because I've tapped into, I think the new frontier, yes, energy medicine is a, is a new frontier from medical point of view, but even more powerful than that because the underpinnings of doing energy medicine is the power of our thoughts. And there are some pioneers, Joe Dispenza, Dawson Church, Wayne Dyer um, wrote about it before he died. That ability to manifest, I think we as humans have an untapped potential. And that's what, for me, 2022 is going to be about learning that and really bringing that in. Yeah, I love it. I'm excited, you know, as we move forward together in 2022 and you share bits and pieces as you will from this fabulous book you're writing, we'll be sharing, we'll be posting some of the insights, some of the beautiful approaches that you've taken and are willing to share with people. And of course, people will be able to learn this from you if they work with you as well. So let's Mm -hmm. not forget that. What is the best way for people to get a hold of you? And also you have a phone number that they can reach and get. Okay, I don't always know the phone number. So let me just see. Oh, I think I have it. Do you? I, I Eight, probably have it. I think I have it right here. 833-940-1882. But just email. Go to drsharonmartin.com, drsharonmartin.com. Email me. Um, I would love to work with you. I'm also going to put together some classes. I'll probably be online because we all love zoom yeah we do (laughs) Um, in 2022 and connect because i think we have so many powerful things to bring forward for each of us yeah and And so i'm happy about that and they can get you at sharon email sharon at sharon martin md.com yeah right what we're talking about is us and zoom in 2022 I can get pretty corny. I can totally get pretty corny. I'm just saying. Doc Martin, thank you so much for everything. We'll be talking again. I want to thank all of you. And we're really, this is our theme. 2022, it's all about you. More innovation, more technology, more things that you could put your hands on and reach out for help. Amazing hosts, Doc Martin, her book, and you, the best audience on the planet. Thank you, Doc Martin. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays to all of you. All right, everybody. We'll be back with TTR in a minute. Thank you for listening to Maximum Medicine Radio, The Healing Hour, with me, Dr. Sharon Martin, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We're going to be together the third Wednesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific for candid, honest conversations 
to help you change the way you think about healing, about yourself, about your life. Did you hear your answer on the show? Well, I will be with you next month, ready for all your questions from energy medicine to traditional healing and beyond. Healing is flow, movement, and destination. But are you stuck? What is your true destiny line? Listen in, call in to let the world know. Together, we'll choose what brings you into healing and let you call in all the power of the universe to act on your behalf. Reclaim your path. To learn more about me, Doc Martin, and Maximum Medicine, The Healing Hour, visit www.drsharonmartin.com. See you all next time.